welcome back students today's video is the continuation of the last video in which we have studied gutenberg editor or in simple words you can say that we have just studied an editor for pages and post now we will study more about it there are n number of features available in this editor for editing different pages and different post by the end of this tutorial you will be very clear with the simple question how to use a block this is what i am going to teach you in today's session so let's get started right now in front of your study course screens this is the gutenberg editor or you can simply say the editor that we'll be using in the journey of learning wordpress you can open this screen by clicking on pages and then add new now what is a block a block is basically a space that contains your content let us explore this editor to make the term block more clear to you and how can we use the multiple blocks let me write something here let's write welcome to let's say study course block so this is my first block now if i want to create one more block how to do that students that's very simple after you are finished writing the text simply press enter and see on pressing enter i have one more block in front of me so let me give a text to it as welcome to study course block 2 now again i'll press enter students the most interesting part is that we have different options right above what we write as i have told you in the previous videos also we have different kinds of options such as to change the font weight size line height etc we can also add a web link to our text and there are lot more options since i have created the two blocks now let us see how the two blocks look like this is my first block and under which the second block is there now students what are the various things that you can do in a block let us study them one by one but before that if you want to add a block in between the two simply click that plus sign then it will ask you what kind of block you want to create either it's an image heading quote or what i have selected quote so let's write a quote for this block ask believe receive so i'm writing a very simple quote just for an example ask believe receive now students what i have done is i have inserted an additional block in between the two blocks in case i want to add some more block i'll simply click on that plus sign and i'll select the kind of block that i am looking for once you enter a block you have the option to choose what kind of content you want to create these are the commonly used options now let's scroll down and reach some more options such as co blocks in co blocks there are different options like authors alert etc moving further if you see on your screens we have the option of common blocks common blocks are the ones that we have already discussed moving further to the formatting options under formatting you have number of options available to you at the second position to code you can see we have a classic editor moreover there are so many options so what is a classic editor since the editor we are using in this course is entirely new one students in case you want to use the old editor if you are familiar with it so therefore in case you want to use those plugins of old editor you can only use them in classic editor only you need to select classic editor and then only they will be functional next we have is custom html followed by pull quote this is basically to keep the content in a narrow space the next option we have is table in case we want to display some packages at our website we can use the table options students do you remember at the time we purchased the godaddy hosting so they have displayed the different kind of costings for different hostings in the form of a table similarly we have the option of widgets students widgets basically perform a specific function for example if i use archive so what will happen if i use archive widget the entire block will be displayed in archive do you remember sometimes we use this option at our whatsapp also so all those chats that you archive are displayed at a separate place so this way we have different kind of widgets and lastly we have the option of embeds this is a fantastic option 
students in case you want to add a video from twitter facebook instagram youtube you can do that it's very simple simply click on that particular option for example if i insert a video from youtube what i'll do is i'll just click on it and then i will embed my video link so this is very easy and this is really very fast you can try using this option and insert videos from youtube or any source that you want to currently you are seeing nine different sources but students on scrolling down the list further we have different types of embedding sources so these are the three blocks that we have created the two are the paragraph blocks and the middle one is the quote block if you see on the right hand side we have three different icons students these three icons are dynamic buttons what is the use of that they are used to insert image quotes or headings the speciality of these three buttons is that they store your recently added say images headings or quotes so in case you have multiple insertions you can use them from the list anytime now let us move further and explore some more features now students i have clicked on the fourth block you can see the cursor is blinking and on the right hand side you have different options that is you can change the font size under block you can see we have different kinds of options to change the font size and we also have an interesting option of drop cap now what does this do for example i write let's say i write study course and after which i want to use drop cap so what it will do is it will just increase the size of the first alphabet coming on to the color settings you have the setting for background color also and the text color as well let us choose a color for the text let me choose one color for the text and one color for the background so let's choose some light color so this is how you can use the color settings and in advanced setting we have the css classes that we will study later on so clicking on a particular block look at right hand side this will help you to edit the targeted block now students one more important feature is on the extreme left hand side there are two arrows by which you can move the block up or down if you remember the block of coat was at second position and now what i have done is i have moved it up and down so in case you want to shuffle the blocks that you have created then you can use these options you can move a block down or you can also move a block upward let us discuss some more features let me select the last block so at the last option you can see there are different sub options that is hide block settings duplicate insert before insert after that we have already studied edit as html add to reusable blocks now students remember the previous videos we have studied this option how to add to reusable blocks now let us practically see how can we do that once you select this option give a random name to your block so the block is created now how to check that whether our block is there or not the block that we have just stored under reusable blocks that will be automatically displayed there so this is the block that we have just saved so similarly you can give specific names to the blocks that you want to use for future use so this was our block in which we have just written study course so this particular block can be reused so students this way you can use your post and page editor i think this was very easy to do now the next video would be an assignment for you in which you will use the different kinds of features of this editor maybe paragraph images music etc so use these features and try to experiment on your web pages students the best way to learn whatever you see in these tutorials is to practically implement them then only you will get a hand on experience to whatever